Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Roy Heverly, and I want to share a hunting story with you today. The story is not about me, it's about my wife, Lisa Heverly, and the first buck she shot. She shot it with a bow, and it was a really nice eight pointer. She shot it right up this creek here. And uh, before I was, I was sitting above her. She was about 22 foot in the tree, and I was a couple feet over in another stand filming her. I filmed the hunt, and I'm going to share that footage with you in a moment. So bear with me. But I wanted before I did that, I wanted to tell you what led up, tell the story about what led up to that hunt. So um, starting out our plan, the plan was I was up here ahead, ahead of time with my friends. We were hunting, and then when my friends left, Lisa was going to come in and hunt for five days. So. When it was when her, it was her time, when Lisa came in, she actually timed it great. The weather had cooled off. The big bucks were on their feet. Check this. Check these trail cam pictures out. This is just right before Lisa got here. Check these out. Wow, how about that? So as you, as you can imagine, Lisa was excited and so was I. They're, they're big bucks, they're giants. They're giant Ohio bucks. And um, there was only one problem with that, the wind was wrong. We couldn't hunt that stand because of the wind direction, but it was gonna get favorable in a couple of days. So we had that to look forward to. But I had some other stands set up and as my friends had all been hunting all over the place and they had been seeing deer. So I knew where some deer, deer were in different places. This is Lisa's first hunt right here. I think you're going to enjoy it. Check it out.
Wow, how was that? Now that hunt, that was a typical bow hunt. If you're a bow hunter, you know you don't have to get the shot to have a good hunt. That's the way we are anyway. We were both, after that hunt, we were like, wow, that was awesome. It looks like the deer was actually very close, but he was actually just a little bit out of her range. And he was nervous. If you, as you could see, when he was coming in, he picked me off in the tree. And um, he, he sort of knew something wasn't right. There's no cover in the trees up here late season. The leaves are down and there's just no cover. You have to do the best you can to blend in with the tree. And I was sort of sticking out on the side. I was covering one bank and Lisa was covering the other. And I was on the side of the tree and he, he silhouetted me. He didn't know exactly what it was, but he knew something wasn't right. And he got all the way down to about 25 yards. And as you saw, he left. He just didn't feel good about it. And Lisa's range is anywhere from 20 in, inside. She likes them 15 to 20. She's dead on, she's accurate, she's confident. And she, she, she will pass a deer that's not in that range, which is great, that's what you should do. So, didn't get a shot, but it was a great hunt. That was awesome. On this next hunt, Lisa draws her bow back. So this is an awesome hunt. Um, I'm not gonna give, it, give things away, check it out. Okay, that was two six pointers right there. I had a lot of footage of them. I just showed a little highlights of them to show you that one of them was a little bit bigger with no brow tines and the other one was a small six. I thought she was gonna shoot the bigger one. She drew back on it. She had the, it was right there, quartered away, 15 yards. She had the pin on him and she let it down and decided not to shoot her. I was like, shoot it. So I was like, wow, okay. And then after the hunt, she, she said that um, it just wasn't the one that she was after. But we had a great hunt. We're having fun. We're seeing deer, so that's all that matters. I'm getting footage, we're having a ball. So on this hunt, we get in there, we get set up. Have you seen, I don't really, we don't, we, on all of our hunts, we just sort of slip in the woods nice and quiet. And most of our stands are a long walk. So we just walk in nice and quiet, get up the tree. And then I set up the camera and film the hunt. We don't do interviews and talk while we're going in and out of the woods, to and from the tree stands. So on this hunt, we got, we got in the woods, got up the tree and turned my camera on and guess what? My battery's dead. I've been filming for two years. This is the first time my battery's dead. We're on the we're on the spot, the stand we've been waiting to sit, and my battery's dead. I was like, wow. So but I've got a backup. I got my cell phone with me. So check out this footage. Uh, check out this hunt. You can imagine what's getting ready to happen. Camera's dead, but leave it but and it's one of those days you know the deer are gonna move. It was cool. It, it, everything was right. The stand, we hadn't been in there in a while and everything was just right. The conditions were prime.
wow, how was that hunt? That was awesome. You know, I got it with my camera, with my cell phone camera. You know, it was good enough. The main thing is the hunt. That's what it was all about. But what I get with the camera, I'm happy about. But that's not what it's all about. We're actually just the hunt in general is what it's all about. Getting out here with my wife and enjoying the great outdoors. That makes me happy. That makes us both happy. And um, so I hope you enjoyed that hunt. If you did. I'm gonna be, I've got a pile of footage gathered of different hunts. I've got some big bucks. I've got a little bit of everything, turkey, bobcats. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, over time, I'm putting them together into short little stories like this. If you like this hunt and this story, subscribe to our channel and check back with us. We'll be putting some more videos out in the future. So I'm signing off. Have a good day, guys. Good luck hunting.